Hey guys, welcome back. Part 3. Good to see you staying with me. The final match on this WrestleMania 27... <clears throat> Sorry, I had to drink of water. 27 card was The Miz. Yes, defeating John Cena. You heard me correct. He defeated John Cena. Hooray! Cena actually lost at WrestleMania. Unfortunately, he didn't lose clean, which pisses me off. Anyway, let's get on with the match description, shall we? Side headlock by The Miz is countered by Cena. Multiple Irish whip dodges by both men, which I have to admit I did not see coming, is brought into a hip toss by Cena. Cena then gets beaten down in the corner by Miz. Irish whipped into another turnbuckle. He then gets flown in with that clothesline thing for two. Miz then kicked then a kick to Miz's, the Miz's gut allows Cena to do a very nice gut wrench suplex. Don't see that very often. That only gets a two. Both men run at each other. Miz hits a side effect. Another move you don't see often because Matt Hardy is no longer there. For two. Miz then runs at Cena in the corner. Cena dodges. Cena does his leg drop off the top rope. And then Miz kicks out of t at two. A lot of near falls in the early part of this match. Miz dodges Cena who eats turnbuckle. Followed by a swiftly with a kick to the head. Miz covers Cena for two. Another kick to the head by the Miz also gets a two. Miz is making Cena look weak here. Get in. Uh, <laughs> that's just awesome. I was whipped by the Miz. Cena falls over hard. He, I don't know if that's a botch that he trips over or anything, but he whacks his face on the canvas. A nice baseball slide hits Cena. Cena's in agony. Cena then throws Cena back in, shoves his knee into his jaw. Bang! Huge, a great impact move there. Only gets two count. Smith goes for the skull crushing finale. Cena counters and does the shoulder blocks, the protoplex, the five knuckle shuffle. And that happens. Goes for the FU. I am not calling it attitude adjustment for as long as I fucking live. And Miz counters into a DDT. Nice. But that only gets a two. A drop toe hold by Cena for STF. Miz gets out of it and connects with a neck breaker. Gets two. Starts on the turnbuckle padding. Referee sees it, however. Referee starts doing up the turnbuckle padding. And... <laughs> Cena then rolls Miz up for a two count when the referee realises the two count going on and effectively gives it where it is. <laughs> That's quite funny. The referee is more occupied on doing up the turnbuckle when the guys aren't doing anything. <laughs> anyway... Uh... Cena then locks in the STF on the Miz. The Miz grabs the ropes to break the hold. Riley then throws Cena into the exposed turnbuckle. Miz then hits the skull crushing finale. Cena kicks out at two. Miz go, goes for the skull crushing finale again. Cena then throws him into the referee this time. Cena then hits the FU, but the ref is down. Obviously, there's no count. Riley then whacks Cena with the briefcase right in the head. Miz covers. And Cena kicks out at two. How that doesn't do it, the Lord knows. Riley then argues with the ref. Miz has the briefcase, runs, and hits Riley in the face. And Cena ducks. <laughs> Brilliant. And literally picks Miz straight up, hits the FU, and gets a two count. The Miz kicks out. And Miz then rolls to the outside. Cena clotheslines him over the barricade into the technical area where Howard Finkel sits. <laughs> then Cena clotheslines Miz into the... They, he jumps over and clotheslines Miz over into the crowd area whilst Miz tries to run. They both get counted out, and that looks like to be the end of the match when Miz retains by a technicality. However, The Rock comes out, does not look like a happy guy at all. The Rock, he's about to make a promo, Rock knows that the Raw computer chimes. The Rock wants to get, he wants to get to the computer. He's shut up by the GM, announcing, oh, he basically says, I think. Rock says, it doesn't matter what you think, which is fantastic, love that. And he announces, under his own jurisdiction, the match will be continuing under a no DQ rules, which is nice. And basically, Miz gets thrown back into the ring by Cena, given the FU. He goes out, onto, he holds onto the ropes, goes out, then he turns round. Rock is there. Rock bottom to Cena. Rock bottom to Cena. Miz then hits the, then pins the Miz. Miz pins Cena. Miz pins Cena. Run, rock, rock, the Rock runs back in, gets the Miz, spine busters him to the canvas, lines up the people's elbow, hits it, and that is the end of WrestleMania 27. I have to admit, based on what my notes said, this sounded like an exciting match. However, these counts came at came when over the over the course between each two count, there was a lot of slow pace standing around watching, then hitting the move, then getting the two. That to me was really slow paced. 
really didn't work. They didn't broke it broke the flow of the match. And it made it last longer than it did because apparently those two matches together lasted 19 minutes. Now, to me, that effectively does not constitute a 19 minute. That does to me doesn't sound like it's 19 minutes long. That does not at all sound like that. Um, the Miz showed what he was capable of in the ring with some nice moves. Cena was his usual self, though, with his usual crappy moves. That gut wrench suplex, though, was the difference maker. He pulled that off well. These guys are good in the ring, but I don't think they have no chemistry in the ring at all. Miz is too slow at doing anything. Cena just does things too fast. Doesn't work. You don't work off well. You've got to have guys on the same page. Um, this match did make me, it felt underwhelming, despite its stages as being in the main event. The entrances didn't help, they were blown out and stupid. I would have liked to also see an actual promo for the whole match, where both guys, both sides of it all, instead of, and, and also focusing on the Rock's in potential involvement, rather than having this two separate little promos and two separate little entrances one after the other, that just didn't make any sense. And if Cena and Miz were allowed to do a lot more in this match, and I mean a lot more in terms of moves, selling, just basically going all over the place and showing they have animosity for each other properly, and actually making it look like a physical encounter, I would have given this more than I have. Because this could have been more entertaining for me. And despite all the near falls, seeing Cena getting beaten, which was fantastic, the moves that Miz did, and The Rock giving the rock bottom to Cena, I will only give this match, I'll probably give this match, I'm looking at the other page of notes that I left on here, I'll give it to half. It was good, it was entertaining, but I wanted more from this. And I, did, I didn't get, I just felt it was not, I would have loved to see Del Rio have the main event with Edge, like he was promised, and then basically have him win the title, and have a great match to close out the show, but obviously that wasn't the case. Now, I would also like to point out that there were a lot of backstage promos in this WrestleMania, and if you watched my WrestleMania X7 recap, I said that the one thing that can be learned from this year's WrestleMania, that WrestleMania X7 for this year's, do not put too many backstage promos in. Yes, there were too many. Too many long, drawn-out ones. I The only one I liked was when Stone Cold and Rock faced off. That was it. The rest of them, nah, was not needed. Too much time was taken up by Michael Cole speaking, and yeah, I honestly thought this was basically a night where I could have done without that. The stage was piss. The stage was the basicest stage I've seen at WrestleMania in a while. It was big. It was exuberant, and they still managed to fit 71,000 in, which made me very happy. However, I do not like that they had this stage look so tacky. Anyway, back onto the final rating. Three superb matches, which is Taker and Triple H, Cena, not Cena, uh, Punk, Orton, and Del Rio Edge, backed up with two middle-of-the-road matches, which were Cody Rhodes, Rey Mysterio, and Miz Cena. However, cannot get rid of my burning disappointment that I've had three shit matches on the card with them. Whilst, basically, a, what could have been and what promised to be a fantastic match got left off the card completely. Now, this... This Mania was better than last year's, for me. But it was better in terms of match quality, match length being exactly right. And for the most part, I, f I was satisfied, though. However, I was annoyed, because like I have said at the start of my part one, I, I felt underwhelmed by this WrestleMania. When it came to hype, when it came to build-up, when it came to the matches themselves, if only three of them can really shout out at me as being ridiculously good, then that's a really bad thing. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And the, for everything tonight, from the audience to the times match, some matches were given. The cold Lawler match went on way too long for itself. The lackluster commentary at times was crap. Even JR and King couldn't rub each other off well. And this, this, and even the matches themselves, in, in fact, I said three and or five of the pieces out of eight, it just, this, may, this mania was reeking of mediocre. It just didn't. Shout out to me! Apart from the three matches I, I loved, everything else was just absolutely mediocre. It was... Ugh, I could cut the tension with a knife, for God's sake. I was feeling really edgy about watching this. Now, I haven't felt that about WrestleMania. To be honest, 25-26, this was better than that. But I just still felt underwhelmed, to the point where I really didn't feel happy about it. Even though The Miz and Cody won, Del Rio, the, Del Rio, Punk and the cause losses shows that WWE still doesn't know how to handle young talent in the right way. They don't realise how to push people. 
They don't want to push the main happy guy, the main guys, because they're the main people at the time. You've got to work for the future as well as working for the present, you know. And also, at the end of all this, WWE still have a long way to go before being able to say they've put on a fantastic WrestleMania again. And I will give this a final rating of 5.5 out of 10. 5.5 out of 10. It's average, it's bang in the middle with some great matches, some shit ones, and a lot of stuff which makes me feel really pessimistic. This would have been lower. This probably would have been lower. This probably would have been lower if, uh, basically, if, if the other matches I said were good. If Miz, if the other two matches, Cody Rhodes, Remis if Rhodes, Mysterio, Cena, Miz were shit, I would have probably given this a three, possibly a two, maybe. But if the Daniel Bryan Sheamus match was on my card, given its time, this could probably be a six, maybe even a seven. But to me, the underwhelming, reeking, mediocre WrestleMania that 27 turned out to be, 10 years after the greatest WrestleMania was on our screens, it makes me feel that Extreme Rules had better pick up the pace. Thank you all who have managed to stay with me for this epic WrestleMania 27 review videos. If you want to come on anything I've said on any three of the videos, click the comment box down there. Click the like button if you like what I'm hearing. Please, if you want, if you like, if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe up there. I am thanking you all for the support you've given me. I will be back next week with my fifteenth wrestling rant, which therefore means a fifteen minutes of fame. Now I've wanted, to, I've re-recorded this twice already, but this time I'm not holding it back. Because I have go I'm going to openly berate and rip into Vincent Kennedy McMahon Jr., the guy who runs WWE. I am going to rip into all of his shortcomings over his entire tenure as the owner of the WWE. Yeah, that I'm looking really forward to doing for the third time running. Because you fucked up on me when I tried to upload it before. Now, the guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a very good week. I will see you Sunday, and I, and I hope, in all God, next pay-per-view, Extreme Rules, is a lot better than what I've just witnessed. See you all next time, and thank you.